Dear Plusu Accountancy students, today we are going to discuss the seventh problem. Seventh problem in the ratio analysis chapter. From the following balance sheet of James Limited, as on 31-3-2019, calculate debt equity ratio, property ratio, capital gearing ratio. Debt equity ratio, proprietary ratio, and the capital gearing ratio. Balance sheet of James Limited as on 31-3-2019. Particulars amount. Equity and liability. Shareholders funds. Share capital. Equity share capital. 6% 6% preference share capital. Reserves and surplus. Non-current liabilities. Long term borrowings. 8% debentures. Current liabilities. Short term borrowings from banks. Trade payables total and then assets non current assets fixed assets current assets inventories trade receivables cash and cash equivalents other current assets expenses paid in advance total okay from these informations we shall find out the debt to equity ratio debt to equity ratio proprietary ratio and the capital gearing ratio okay exercise number 7 Debt equity ratio. To find out the debt equity ratio, the formula is long term debts divided by shareholders' funds. Long term debts divided by shareholders' funds. Long term debts in an irgo are the yellow thing. What is here? Is it long term debts? Ila long term borrowings no writer long term borrowings that is eight percent debentures as a motor eight percent debentures. Yellow not three lakhs. Shareholders funds Shareholders fund in an airco, are the other thing or see a zero equity share capital two lakh fifty thousand preference share capital. Two lakhs reserves and surplus one lakh fifty thousand. Is the other in total one na six lakhs. Upon debt to equity ratio equal to. Debt equity ratio equal to long term debts. Long term debts on the three lakhs. Sha by shareholders funds. Other on the six lakhs. Three lakhs by six lakhs. Cipher large zero. Or moon moon or dimuar. Upper zero point five is to one. Zero point five is to one. Is that debt equity ratio? The next item is proprietary ratio. Proprietary 
proprietary ratio. The formula to find out the proprietary ratio is shareholders funds divided by shareholders funds divided by total assets. Shareholders funds here can we debt equity ratio for Shareholders funds on the six lakhs. Total assets. Balance sheet la assets la total assets. Fixed assets, current assets. Yella share the amount on the twelve lakhs. Apo proprietary ratio equal to. Shareholders funds 6 lakhs divided by total assets 12 lakhs. 6 lakhs by 12 lakhs. This is the addition of RUI. 4 RR, ERR. 0.5 is to 1. The answer. Proprietary ratio 0.5 is to 1. Then the next one is. Third one is. Capital gearing ratio. Capital gearing ratio. The formula to find out the capital gearing ratio is funds bearing fixed interest or fixed dividend divided by equity shareholders funds. Funds bearing Fixed interest or fixed dividend divided by equity shareholders funds divided by equity shareholders funds. The funds bearing Fixed interest or fixed dividend This is what I want to do This is what I want to do 6% preferent share capital 6% preferent share capital 2 lakhs 8% debentures are wrong. 3 lakhs. Now, 5 lakhs. These are funds bearing fixed interest or fixed dividend. Now, equity shareholders funds. Equity shareholders funds. That's why we have equity share capital. Equity share capital. 2,50,000. 50,000. Then reserves and surplus. One lakh fifty thousand. By then only a total four lakhs. Appa capital gearing ratio equal to funds bearing fixed interest and fixed dividend to five lakhs. Equity shareholders funds on the 4 lakhs. Upper 5 lakhs divided by 4 lakhs. That's on 
is to 1. 1.25 is to 1. This is capital gearing ratio. Now, the debt equity ratio is 0.5 is to 1. Proprietary ratio is 0.5 is to 1. Capital gearing ratio 1.25 is to 1. Okay, students. Thank you.